Whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, it does not matter what you drive. This is your All-Terrain Nation. I'm your host, David Boyd. And today is, well, it's exclusive photo day. And if it's going to be of the Bronco, well, they're going to be by Bronco Nation. And uh, first, though, if you have not yet, smash that little like button. just helps people find my channel, and I greatly, greatly appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you like Bronco content, well, you're in the right place. But if you like all other auto news, stick around. We cover everything here. So, Bronco Nation has given us what the Everglades is going to look like. And while some of this thing I have known, the fenders, I've known about what they were going to look like for quite a while now, um, th there's a couple things that are just head scratchers. So, let's get into this video because I want your opinions and uh, we'll just go from there. All right, so let's get into these photos. And uh, once again, these are from Bronco Nation. I will throw a link in the video. So if you guys want to see what all they're talking about or on the forum, if they're discussing it, uh, we'll throw the link in there. Those guys have always been really nice to me, so I appreciate it. I'd like to poke. You guys know I'm going to poke at them a little bit. But uh, if they're exclusive photos of the Bronco, you know where they're coming from. They're coming from Bronco Nation. So we'll go over there and check this out. And this is from their website. So um, there is your Everglades, and uh, we're going to go poke the bear a little bit with this thing and uh, walk around this thing, and we'll look at it. But first off, the first thing that stands out to me about this is, well, it looks like a Badlands from the get-go. Like, no no kind of, from what I could tell, you know, like exclusive grill or anything to this. It just looks like a Badlands with their, you know, right up front there. It looks like the normal heavy-duty bumper with the winch plate that you could get added. Now, what we might be hard to see is this Bronco is blacked out. And what if they did a body color matching on that? I think it'd be really cool. And, um, you know, give the Everglades a few things that make it its own model. But right now, the way it sets, I don't know that anybody would tell the difference in this other than the snorkel over there. Really, from a quick glance, than a normal Badlands. But you know, just my opinions, right? So first off, look at the roof of this thing. This thing, let's be honest, the Everglades is going after the overland market. Ford is set, Ford is in a great place with the Bronco because they can do both. They can go, hey, we're going after Jeep with your rock crawling a little bit. Yeah, we may not be 100% what you can do, but we can do it. But they're also kind of poking the bear at Toyota here slightly of going, hey, Toyota, yeah, we've seen what your Forerunner and FJ Cruiser had done all those years with very little competition. You know, Nissan had the Xterra, but other than that, as far as a body-on-frame SUV, not a lot of competition there. So Ford's like, hey, Toyota, let's uh, let's poke the bear with you guys a little bit too. And, you know, Toyota did offer uh, a snorkel with the, uh, the Tacoma. So this isn't like this is the first of any manufacturer ever putting a snorkel on here. It's just first for Ford. But um, definitely the green. You know, Ford, we get it. You did a good, we're going to pat your, your back. You did a good job with the green. Everybody wanted it. Well, I don't see a white top on this, but it is what it is, right? Uh, but there's, there's other, co like the red hot chili pepper or whatever color they're going to call that. I would start showing that a little more too. Like they've really kind of kept that color a secret, but is what it is. If you look, it's got the normal halo lights, nothing like Raptor like on this. Maybe there's something a little under the hood. It's hard to tell. Uh, it looks like the normal bulge up there of the hood, but, um, is what it is. Now let's look at this snorkel because man, oh man, that snorkel is huge and it almost looks like a fly swatter like up there. And, um, why is that? Anyone? You, you no, over there. You, can you guess? I'm going to do it for you. Turbo engines need a lot of air. They're sucking a lot of air through there. So Probably one of the bummers of this, and this is me speculating, by the way, probably one of the bummers of a turbo engine is when you want to do a snorkel, you need the fly swatter up there to, to capture as much air as possible. Now, normally on snorkels, you want them as high as possible, and that little head, kind of that traditional uh, Australian-style snorkel that everybody's so used to, or us uh, African-style, that... You want that as high as possible to catch the cleanest air possible. So if you're in a group of cars, you know, there's just dust. You've seen you've seen the cool videos. There's just a line of trucks and there's dust everywhere. They're trying to get as much clean air as possible with debris-less air, we'll say, that uh, these engines need to use. So that's why you put a snorkel. This thing ain't made to go. Like, Everglades is almost a bad name for it because no, it, you don't take these things through swampy. Like, that's not what the snorkel is made for. You got turbos down there, you're going to just screw up. But um, I digress. So that head of that thing is going to need to be really, really big to suck as much air in as possible. So it's kind of a bummer about it. But uh, I commend Ford for actually doing a factory-built snorkel on these things. Looks really, really cool. Now, 
another little pokey pokey we can see is look at these uh, look at these little fenders, little square fenders. Now I've seen some uh, I've had some photos I got to see uh, of a potential heritage edition, which I think I think this is their sort of heritage edition. Um, I've seen these fenders before. And uh, I just couldn't, I, I can't, there's certain times you get to see things as a journalist that you just can't comment on publicly. So, but I have seen these in the past and uh, I do like the way these things look and uh, it's kind of a bummer that I can't get them for mine. Uh, or I guess I could, I could switch the fenders out, but let's, uh, let's go down here and uh, there's a little, uh, this is by Laura over there at Bronco Nation, who she's always been super nice to me. Um, Ford earlier this Fall uh, confirmed that uh, the rumored Bronco Everglades would be joining the off-road SUV family. And here's, you know, Mike Levine with his uh, his uh, little saying, hey, you know, we're going to be the first to uh, for the Bronco to have a snorkel. And then it just goes on here to say that, and I'm sorry I've clipped some of this off, but it goes on to say that dealers have been sent this stuff and saying, hey, we're going to give you pricing uh, the first quarter of the year where you'll know kind of where these things stand. But let's be honest. I don't think it, yeah, right here, limited availability. That should stand out with any Bronco, really. But can you imagine the limited, limited availability? Like, Bronco's hard enough to get, but now these are even li more limited. Um, but I think it's just Ford's way of easing into this stuff. They don't want, they don't need 100,000 orders of this thing now. Could you imagine how that would cripple? They're they're doing the best they can to get Broncos out as is. But a lot of this stuff has been in the works for a while. You know, where I kind of crapped on a Raptor and I felt like that was... I don't know. It just feels like a parts bin vehicle they put together. Uh, I, I, seeing it wrapped, by the way. You know, hold your comment, get Raptor guy. Some of the comments in that video, you guys were angry at me about, which is fine. Um, but this one seems a little bit more uh, put together. But uh, it says, um, where was it? Uh, pricing for uh, the Bronco Raptor and Everglades would come first quarter of 22. So that doesn't mean necessarily that you're going to be able to order them right away. Maybe, maybe I could see, I could see March when we were able to put in orders for the, the first year Broncos. Um, but this going to give them, this is what the dealers got to see kind of a close up look at this thing of what they're going to get. Now, this is a photo we just seen. Once again, you see that big snorkel. Let's see what they got here for photos. All right. Nice fall day. I like a, I like a good colored picture like that, but you can see that fly swatter or a snorkel over there. Definitely sticking out. Now, one thing snorkels do is they can block some view in those pillars because you are adding mass over there. Just what it is. I've had plenty of vehicles with snorkels over the years. It's kind of a give and take. If you want that look or the functionality, you got to kind of give a little bit. So uh, definitely looks like it's taking a slight uh, part of the windshield there, but not too bad, I would say. Uh, nothing else really stands out on this picture. Let's see what we got for the next one. Ah, there we go. There is your heritage uh wheels uh or what we were teased you know we've seen teaser photos i think i even did a video way back of uh where they were kind of we everybody thought oh it's the heritage edition they're going to do bronco um and i don't remember ford's ever it's been so long ago i don't remember ford's ever said hey we're officially doing a heritage edition or not but i have a feeling this is about as close as we're going to get to uh that edition if they're showing us the wheels like this but uh, those wheels definitely have that 60 vibe. I'm sure they're not a steely. They're probably more than likely a, um, an aluminum wheel, which is fine. Uh, but those are definitely Sasquatch uh, wheels or tires. Um, I can't zoom in on this right now, but I, I did earlier, and they are a 315.70. So it's definitely a Sasquatch-style package. Nothing about the rear of this thing really stands out as like any different. You know, it's a you know, molding color roof, which I have a feeling too, they're going to get actually painted roofs on this thing. If not, Ford, what are you doing? Uh, at some point you do actually have to provide painted roofs or color body matching color, whatever tops at some point you have to do it. Right. I mean, come on, but the wheel does look good. Uh, nothing really, you know, they were very strategic about ripping that, that vinyl off right there. So you can see it does have the, uh, the buck and Bronco there. Uh, will there be any more special badging back here? Probably not, but it would be cool if there was something, you know, down there. As you can see, it definitely has the normal hinges on there, so it's not like the Raptor and has those big heavy-duty hinges. Um, let's see. Now, here's a bone of contention. When I saw the launch video and they talked about, oh, 200 accessories, you know, f at, at launch. Well, they really... Nobody's ever called them out on that, but they really scaled that back. Or if what they were calling part of the 200, not including this tailgate, was, um bolts i don't know uh but the tailgate is definitely high on my list i really wanted that 
And uh, I have a feeling they're going to kind of ease this into being exclusive for Everglades. So if you want a, you want that, you're going to have to buy the Everglades. I have a feeling. Let me know in the comments what you think. But if you look at the taillights of this thing, nothing says anything different than Badlands. I mean, they're the LED taillights that I really, really like. Uh, but as far as, you know, nothing on that bumper, rear bumper says anything different. Is there, let's see if there's another photo. Ooh, here we go. And I wish you, I zoomed in on this photo earlier and I wish the detail was a little bit better, but it's definitely 315. You can see it sort of right there. Um, they're definitely 315 tires. Um, and once again, I will have links to this. So if you want to examine these, I know they've got them on their Facebook page as well. Uh, go over to Bronco Nation for that. But it's the square or the uh, kind of square fenders that everybody's been asking for. Definitely a throwback right here. Definitely a throwback. Um, I like these a lot. I like them better than the round ones, but I really do like my Bronco. So, you know, I like these better, we'll say, than what I currently have. Um, something that stands out to me right here, obviously we see the wheels with the, the center cap of the, the Bronco logo there. Uh, they're not beadlock capable wheels from best I can tell. Nothing there screams that, hey, these are beadlock capable wheels. You definitely can see, you know, the side view of the winch. You got your approach angle and all that right there. Uh, I think aftermarket does that a lot better, especially for the cost. $3,500 just for the winch and that plate separately. You can, for that money, you can buy a cheaper winch and get a real steel, you know, a solid steel plate bumper for almost the same price. Um, but, you know, nothing here stands out crazily. Now, see where this bubble is up here? Um, I have a feeling the script logo is going to be there. And if they do that script logo, everybody that's selling those uh, script logos probably going to get cease and desist letters because Ford at some point is going to do that. That's a trademarked logo of theirs, and they're going to want to use that. And if this one has sort of a throwback vibe already, why would they not do it here? You know, let me know in the comments what you think. But uh, from what we can see of the rock sliders, nothing looks really, really different there. And I think this is the last photo, but uh, let's go. Yep, that's the last photo. So there is your Everglades. Let me know in the comments what do you think. Well, there you go. You're kind of getting that heritage edition a little bit. You're kind of getting the square fenders back of the old throwbacks and sort of the wheels of a, a 60s flare, but you're getting a snorkel. There's a lot of confusion to this build. I mean, a lot of confusion. There was things we were promised, like that tailgate. We were promised that we could just buy. Well, I guess maybe they're going to make that an exclusive to this edition now. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's a little wacky. Uh, you're getting basically the same front bumpers and rear bumpers that you can get on the Badlands. Uh, you get a snorkel. Well, and you, you heard my opinion of that snorkel. And I know why, once again, you know, we know why it needs to be like this. But anyways, in the comments below, let me know what you think of these uh, crazy wacky photos that uh, our friends over at Bronco Nation has provided. So whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, this Bronco that I, I thought I wanted to drive, but now I don't know. This has been your All-Terrain Nation. I'm your host, David Boyd. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.